Hello, everybody, and welcome to week two of Valorant. Uh, we are competing in Conference 1 in East Division 3, and we have a special uh, guest tonight. We've got Peyton joining us on commentary. Peyton, thanks for joining us, and are you ready for some Valorant? I uh, sure hope so. Uh, thank you for having me here. <laughs> I appreciate the opportunity. Of course, yeah. So uh, we're really excited just to give more people the opportunity to uh, commentate and cast and things of that nature. But um, so that's really what what collegiate esports is is all about. Uh, not so much a path to pro, but more you know, industry experience and and just opportunities like that. And it's really cool that we can we can offer that, and really cool that uh, you can join us. Yeah, um, looking to have a lot of fun with this and see how the match goes. <laughs> and keep yeah. it interesting. Absolutely. So IU Cream uh, came in last week with a victory. Um, I don't have uh, that actually pulled up right now as far as who they played. Um, but uh, but either way, uh, they did have a very close matchup, winning their first round 15-3 to and their second match 13-8. to uh, Spring Hill lost last week um, pretty uh, decisively, I'll say. So this week is going to be very telling for where we kind of stand uh, within our, our particular uh, division after, you know, kind of getting um, <laughs> getting our butts handed to us last week, playing against an opponent this week that's a little more, um, had a tougher time last week, not as decisive in closing it out. Um, it really is going to tell, you know, can we hang with them and potentially hang with whoever they beat? And I think this map will be pretty telling of that. Uh, Spring Hill did pick this map, but it is one of those maps that doesn't seem to be too one-sided, uh, either attackers, defenders. It does seem like it should be a good tell of who's using their, you know, their utility properly, who's holding the correct corners, who's rotating quicker, things of that nature. It should really show the uh, strengths and weaknesses of both teams. Absolutely, yeah. So we're going to start off with Haven, and uh, Indiana University did choose to attack first on Haven, and Spring Hill, uh, so Spring Hill, as you mentioned, uh, chose Haven, and then Indiana chose Icebox, and uh, as we were talking before the stream started, uh, Icebox is one of those maps that I don't think Spring Hill played much last season. Um, obviously, uh, Breeze wasn't up last season when we played, so Icebox was kind of that default map ban for a lot of teams. They just didn't want to play it. But now with with Breeze and Fracture in play, Icebox is gonna you know have a little bit more availability. You know now we have seven maps to try to choose from and ban out. Icebox is gonna make its way in, and sure enough, um, Indiana University chose Icebox, and we'll see Spring Hill on attack for that one. Yeah, it's definitely going to be one of those maps where teams try to catch other teams off guard being experienced with, uh, especially since he said that it was banned out a lot of the times last season. If it's slipping through the cracks this season and teams are were prepared for it last season, they'll be even more prepared for it this season, and those teams that banned it out will not be. So it'll be an interesting test to see how teams are able to adapt to these uh, new maps coming out. Yeah, and we do have, um, you know, talk about agent selection uh, real quick for... For Spring Hill, we have, uh, we'll bring up tab here. We do have Random on Omen, so Random's going to be uh, handling Smokes for us. Meant Spring out the Sky. Sky was a, a huge game changer uh, in uh, Spring Hill's match last week uh, for the other team. Uh, Spring Hill had to deal with those polecat flashes that are annoying. Uh, and so I guess they decided to bring it out themselves along with the Sage, the Killjoy, uh, which is going to be great for you know locking down a site on attack if Spring Hill can get to that. And then Cody's bringing out the Reyna. Um, yeah, and for the other team, it seems like they're going with a no healer route opposed to Spring Hill's double healer. So that it'll be interesting to see how Spring Hill can use that to their advantage or if the increased amount of utility that the opposing team has, if they're able to pull that out as well, not having to rely on healing. Indiana throwing a lot on C right now. Music A is able to bail out real quick, uh, getting the spot. The, the bomb actually is going down right now. Uh, so Spring Hill content to focus on the retake, playing it safe. Uh, Music Ace uh, ends up dropping the Zoloft. Mintz does grab uh, the enemy Reyna. So a 3v4 in favor of Indiana. Those shark darts coming in clutch, weakening Spring Hill on this retake. Uh, we'll see how Random uses these smokes to try to cover their entry. Uh, two Spring Hill players also looking very low. Uh, he gets a one, one headshot of hiding the corner. Got all three of them. Two headshots and a wall bang coming out from uh, Snuxy. 
Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Snuxy, yeah, doing really well hiding in that corner. Uh, definitely uh, just incorporating some of that crossfire so that when Spring Hill goes to entry onto the site, uh, they they were able to pick off uh, Zoloft, but Snuxy was just in a great position to be able to pick up the 3K there. So now looking across at the loadouts, we do see a couple of shorties coming out for Spring Hill, so maybe looking to play uh, these tight angles here, random going down into the sewers. Music Ace maybe holding a tight corner over here on C. Hopefully they push that again, and we'll see what happens. We gotta look down here at the... It does seem that Sage full bought heals, whereas Omen only bought what seems to... Or allowed the regeneration of a single smoke. Um, so... Spring Hill going light on utility this round, aside from uh, the turret from Killjoy and the heals from Sage. Yeah, with that Killjoy being able to lock down one site on C, uh, we do have the Recon Dart coming through. C Music Ace hiding over to the side. Uh, kind of tough cross crosshair placement there. She needs to get that available, but they, she does know that they're here. Uh, simultaneously taking both sites. Mint's able to drop Reyna. A couple of trades. Music Ace does grab uh, Zoot. I'm sorry, Newt. And so it's going to be Spring Hill in a 4v3 with the advantage. Oninobu sitting uh, here waiting uh, to try to get probably some backup here. Does seem like the bomb is on. Is that on B? That classic not oh. doing work, Snuzzy able to pick up that. Now that it's 3v2. Not an optimal fight, the ghost against the classic. The classic, the, <laughs> the classic right, right click, click <laughs> did come out and uh, really help him against that fight versus I believe it was the Guardian um, that the uh, hey. opposing team was using. Oh, pulled yeah. out, picked up a Spectre. This is really good for their Econ. Losing the first round and then winning the second is um, very useful uh, when it's coming to, when you look at the Econ numbers here because if you look at the credits that each team has, it seems Spring Hill now has the lead in uh, for every player, I believe. Yeah, and, unf not... and unfortunately, they're rocking Guardians that they picked up from Indiana. <laughs> Uh, not, I'm not a fan of uh, of the Guardians. I know, I know, Random, uh, Random might be okay with it, but you know, normally he's a Vandal player. But uh, it does save them some money, so they're able to have these rifles. We will see. This round will be very telling of the rounds to come if it follows suit. Um, if they were able to win with these saved guns, then they should have econ domination for probably the next two rounds after this as well. Um, they do have a lot of uh, utility that they have bought, though. Uh, it looks like they're pushing C, a uh, slower push C. Yeah, Music Ace did spot two there. It looks like she's uh, rolling with that machine gun. Let me lay down a lot of cover fire. She does have her alarm bot ready. So she may drop those. We have the wall being readied here in mid. It looks like they're hard attacking random now all by himself. So Spring Hill definitely going to have to focus on the retake here. Going to bring everybody over. Looks like a flank from Killjoy and Sage. I'm sorry, Sky. I did that a lot last week. Uh, yeah, but they are going to have to get there very quickly. The bomb has already been planted, but the rest of their team is seemingly all on top of the others. So, ooh, ooh the <laughs> Cody and Music Ace both grabbing one. Yeah, the Reign of Blind coming in. They gra grab another a 3v2 for Spring Hill. That Guardian now doing work. And that's going to be Spring Hill taking round three. That is indeed a very important round due to the eco of the nature of the econ as it states right now um the opposing team will have very little money to work with uh seeing as they i believe that they bought uh guardians and it seems a couple of pistols so they might have a little econ but still not much to work with it does seem like they are uh, Spring Hill is buying two Vandals, but uh, Random and Cody still sticking with the Guardians. <laughs> that that surprises me. Oh, let's let me go through my uh, the, through my spectate. Uh, uh, I hate. I have to. Okay, we'll we'll switch back to it here in a a second. But uh, I, I want to have my. I want to be able to use my um, my keyboard to swap through players. Right now, I'm having to left click and right click. This, go through that looked like a quick jet dash onto the site machine guns not gonna be doing much there for her music ace she does drop early and that's nuzzy drops mint so a 3v5 spring hill at a disadvantage bomb going down on c 
two players here. Surely going to double swing together. Oninobu does swing along with Random to try to pick up a kill there. At least trade one for one. Nothing doing with the smoke that's down. It does seem, though, that they have intel on where at least one team is, but the opposing team has intel on right now at least where two of uh, Spring Hill is. The Broomstone, however, caught looking the other direction, but it was traded back by Cypher. Yeah, but that's going to be round four going the way of Indiana. Let's see. So I have this... They are set in here, but it's not, uh... Huh. It's not one to work? Yeah, it is not working. You can see, like, it says I should be able to just push one through, uh, five. But, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not doing it. Oh, well. It does seem Spring Hill is starting to pick up on buying vandals for each other. That is, <laughs> they yeah. seem to be giving up on the Guardian t technique. Yeah, three Vandals, two Phantoms coming through, and still a healthy uh, econ for random Music Ace and Mince. Music Ace sat on that uh, machine gun for, I think, uh, three rounds. So they do see two heading towards A, uh, maybe kind of short A near Sewer. Random's going to sit there in the smoke. That's a great smoke right there to be able to spot them coming through. Unfortunately, not going to pay off. Doesn't look like IU is going to peek that century here. I, I would like to see Music Ace maybe not commit to this spot right here with the turret down. Because the turret should be enough cover. Um, oh, a great pickup from Random onto, and, uh, onto the Brimstone. And Sky does detect two with the wolf. So Spring Hill hey, with now, knowledge. They have knowledge, but they are still in a position where they could rotate to any site. Uh, I doubt that they'll be rotating to B with the wall in place. They do see the wall, uh, but they should still have the opportunity to rotate either C or A. Looks like Garage now. So Ooh, and Mints be able to being take out one tap from Newt. They're using a lot of utility to push onto C. Onunobu, oh, Onunobu caught in a 1v3. Does not like those odds. So now it's going to be up to Reyna and Omen on the retake. But they are split across the map as Random does drop. So it's all up to Cody S on the Reyna. They do have intel on where Reyna is at the moment. So this will be a difficult 1v3, and it will be a difficult position to push out of. We're going to have to use the two, two blondes. <laughs> yeah. So now looking at it, Spring Hill has all five ultimates. So this is something that we don't want to... Uh, we want to make sure that we correct the mistake. Last week, uh, the Sage Ultimate was held on to for a very long time. Um, but this is a, a great opportunity for Spring Hill to clean up some of their mistakes from last week. They could really use these Ultimates, not necessarily use all five of them, but you know, use maybe a couple of them this round, a couple of them next round to try to swing the Econ and this kind of the momentum back in their favor. Yeah, at least stopping this uh, this roll that's about that seems like it's starting uh, for the opposing team, and you're yeah. slowing down the snowball. Randa being aggressive on the flank. Cody did spot two, pushing onto A. He does drop. He took a lot of damage, and the plant is going down. The ally, uh, the Killjoy ult is going down, so that's going to flush them off of this site right into the waiting arms of Random X. He does pick up two. Surely they're coming really this way. He's going to throw the blind. Ooh, teleporting TP first. over really so they don't play. see him. Uh, unfortunately, the blind did not catch Zoloft, and that's going to be halfway onto the spike. And they're going to commit to... Oh, that would have... <laughs> it would have worked, too. Yeah, because the op shot missed. <laughs> we've got... Uh, I think we've got to get Music Ace off of the, uh, the LMGs does not seem to be working out at the moment. The Reyna blonde was a very a very good use of that Reyna blonde on the opposing team's point. Uh, placing it halfway into the floor makes it more difficult to shoot, as well as it completely negated uh, Music Ace being able to look at that angle that they were both uh, holding. You know, it was, it was definitely a tough spot because you want to, you know, get the the bomb halfway and then you you know tap it to try to make them come out of, <laughs> and then when the jet op shot missed. 
Uh, she might have had enough enough time to actually finish the defuse. Snuzzy now with the op with the jet. Uh, random does random grabs two, so a a two for two. With a lot of attention thrown towards C, Sage does drop. Now we're left with uh, Killjoy runs through the cipher trap, so she is detected. Reyna is going to have to be careful here, pushing, the, uh, peeking these angles against an op. We did see the op shot come out. We do know they have an op, but there is always that possibility that whatever angle you decide to peek, you get you get taken out in one bullet. Using the Reyna blunt and the Reyna ult to push the corner. Cypher camera spots her immediately. We need to get the Killjoy in the action there to, to get some crossfire out there. Ooh, there's another pickoff. There's down. a pickoff. Cypher, that's a great round win for Spring Hill. Bringing things back into their favor. A great coordinated. Uh, we need to get the... Y'all going to defuse that? <laughs> Reyna does need to go run and try to grab that op to save Econ if possible as well. It looks like they're opting for not picking it up, however. We may not. Well, without, um, I guess without a jet, I don't know if we have anybody that would be, you know, confident with uh, using the op. Could be the decision there, but... But yeah, so I, I like the Cody throwing the blind out, the coordinated push from Music Ace as well, pushing through Garage, uh, developing a lot of crossfire there between, and really, you know, Zoloft had nowhere to go. So great play from Spring Hill, bringing this back to three to four, and a healthy econ. Look at Music Ace's uh, credit. She'll be able to buy for really anybody on the team. It does seem random is going back to his Guardian strat. <laughs> <laughs> weren't too uh, confident about it earlier, but we'll see how it goes. And it does look like he bought it, unless he bought, unless he bought for somebody else. Uh, did Music Ace uh, disconnect? The Sky all coming out as well as the healing. Random X is in a difficult spot here, holding this angle. They know he's up there. There. Perpetually keeping Brunstone smokes in the window as well, not letting him peek out. Oh, the wolf! Sky. <laughs> Struggling wolf to get to the window. <laughs> yeah. They do get intel on the other player. They do get intel on at least one player, though. Oh, great trade there with the one for one. Cody with yeah. the overheal. I believe they have no intel on the last two are. Ah, uh, there's a brimstone, the brimstone ult. Great ult. use of the brimstone ult. Does seem that both of them are gonna yeah, die. Are you looking well. for the exit frags here? IU played that extremely well, not peeking with the last two members, saving the brimstone ult, and then picking off the remaining two members as they tried to escape from the bomb explosion. Can uh, yeah, so we should be able to. Yeah, all right. So we can get the pause in, uh, which is unfortunate that we couldn't pause last round. Uh, so Music A is having some connection issues. All right, reconnected. Right. Unfortunate circumstance of the. Esport being played online is <laughs> absolutely a little different than being on the field. Sometimes people just disappear. It does seem that Music Ace, while not being able to buy last round, it is able to buy two weapons, however, so that is one uh, unintended good consequence that came out of her being AFK. Uh, so I know a lot of action C. So Sky's going to peel back a little bit, have the Rain of Blind coming through, some smokes from Brimstone, as well as uh, the Sova Dart. So Spring Hill now making the rotations, doing uh, doing well on these site retakes. Bomb's already planted on C, it seems like. Random going for the same angle that he did last time, seeing if he can pick up a few kills. It does seem like two are holding this already. He's getting yeah, the he wall does see. A great that pick is a up good Cody. pick up. Yeah, great pick gets up. The, he gets the health back as well. Random X abandoning that uh, long rotate around. It does seem one's back. Yeah. Yeah, Sneaky good. spot by Jet. 
Dream Music Ace uh, by herself there, unfortunately. So a couple things. Uh, definitely tough. Uh, Sky being picked off early um, definitely didn't help because we lost a lot of kind of that uh, retake potential. But uh, either way, we do have some mix-ups coming through. Looks like uh, there was a Bucky at first from Nest. He may have changed his mind there. Looks like they're going to Spring Hill Mago Econ here. Spring Hill's at that e econ point where you're debating light buying, but also you know if you save that you could full buy next round, so it is a tough call to make. You don't want to let them continue to snowball, but you also don't want to completely give up the next two rounds if you lose this one. The Cypher Trap going down here. Uh, masking any potential crossover to short A through the sewers. Sova ult comes out. Doesn't look like it's going to grab anybody or do any damage, so... Uh, it's fortunate for Spring Hill. Reign of Line does go B. They have broken the Sage Wall B, so a lot of pressure here. Uh, we'll see how Spring Hill responds. They do see Reyna in the corner, right outside of the wall. This is a good angle that the Sage is getting, protecting the push. As of now, everybody uh, pretty healthy. Music Ace does drop to the wall bank from Newt. And, you, and they hear everybody rushing over towards A. The Omen ult coming out on top uh, cancels the Omen ult. Yeah, he was right in the middle of everybody. Mostly, uh, I'm assuming, using it for a lot of uh, just some vision and intel. Oh, and a, <laughs> yeah, a random not checking his corners. Snuzzy's doing a uh, great job of catching those angles and catching Spring Hill not minding uh, those little tight angles that they're just walking right into him, as we saw in, I think, the first round. Snuzzy able to grab... Uh, three kills in that pistol round and then grabbing a uh, random there on the site retake. So uh, looking across the scoreboard here, Cody sitting at the top of the Spring Hill leaderboard, nine, seven, and four. Uh, and now, uh, as you mentioned before, all those rifles now coming through uh, for Spring Hill. So we'll see, except for Music Ace on the LMG. It is, does not seem to be, have been working out for her, but we will see if Todd's will change soon. The wolf does get intel on multiple people at long C. But we have seen them long C before and they have not committed as well. Uh, Alright, so a good trade there. Oninobu grabbing the Reyna. Snuxy did grab random though, so that's gonna be it's gonna be tough for Spring Hill now in a 3v4 retake. We do have the Sage ultimate and Reyna ultimate. Oh, Cody able to grab that through the smoke. That's Snuxy down. Now the and rain going out. Yep. And now they're we have the same uh, pushing the site together. Music Ace does drop back on Long C. Sage all coming out on the sky. Rena is taken down, however, by that long angle. This long angle is a hard Ooh. one to peek. Yeah, it was just a wide swing, and it looked like Spring Hill may not have really, even with the two kills, not really have enough time to be able to get the defuse in. Yeah, I think the time would have ticked down too quickly for them to be able to get the defuse in. It seems like they are buying again, though. I believe. It seems like there are a couple that are sacking their full buy to give heavy buys to everyone else. Mm -hmm. Spring Hill now in a very tough spot. They've got some uphill climbing to do with uh, the, this economy from IU. Uh, really strong. Multiple members uh, sitting at full at 9,000. Random getting picked off early. Sova ult and Reyna ult from IU already out. Does seem like Reyna picked up a kill getting her health back with the overheal. Not a lot of utility left for the remaining three players of Spring Hill. Reyna does take out the other Reyna. Yeah, it's got that's a 4K now for for the IU Reyna. Looking for the ace, surely. Oh, it's behind you. Hey, they're gonna get it. Reyna does pop ult, ult and get the ace. We do have half 
and the sods flip to see if Spring Hill can bring it back from the deficit that they are in now that the economy is on level playing field again. Yeah, definitely not um, impossible, but it does become uh, improbable <laughs> once it gets so so uh, so far ahead. But we'll see if they get if they get the ball rolling early on this half. Uh, that could really put them in a good position to snag a few rounds and try to get this closer. Uh, Looks like they are that hard committing. Lead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks like yeah, they are hard stack. committing to C, uh, cutting off the blank with the bot. They need to go now. They know they're there. They just need to hard push this. Uh, Cody able to Did grab you... Zoloft. Getting the heal, Brimstone on back of sight, Random able to grab that, so now Spring Hill in a 3v2. Random watching, coming from CT spawn. Music they are goes. in a good position to hold this site. Not a lot of util left, however. That would be their only downfall if they're not able to hold that in and strictly gunplay. Uh, Cody catching Sova with the bow out. Music Ace needs to rotate over here. Actually throwing the swarm grenade down, so that should be that's this is Spring Hill with the round. I mean, you really just hold it and you have the swarm grenade to. Uh, oh, and random holding with the one tap from the ghost. A great random pulling a, random pulling a Snoxy on Snoxy. <laughs> holding the angle, getting the one tap on him. So now Spring Hill bringing it to within five rounds. So starting off the second half really well, taking a look at the items, feeling confident, go ahead and buying the SMGs, getting that advantage, uh, looking across at IU, obviously in this coach's role here, we don't see uh, what they're buying, but they have a decision to make. You know, Do they try to econ another round, uh, kind of go light so that they can try to bounce back in this third round of the half, but Spring Hill hard rushing through garage. Oh, and... Random able to clean up the enemy Rana who was not able to get the first kill. Oninobu dropping Cypher, have another flank through the garage. Cody able to grab, uh, grab Brimstone. Snuxy bouncing back, but the spike is down. Spring Hill in a 4v2. The util is going down to protect the site. So Spring Hill in a really good post plant here. Alarm bot down, wall down. They have a lot of entrances covered. Slow. Mint's taking all the way back at Long C, and that's going to be Random grabbing the three-piece, and Spring Hill taking round number 14, cutting IU's lead to four. I do not believe IU bought that round, however, so we may see some guns come out for them this round. This round will be very deciding uh, as to whether or not the how the next following rounds go. Um, yeah, and it puts Spring Hill in a tough spot because they bought the SMGs. Now they're sitting on the same amount of credits as IU, but you, it feels bad to just drop the SMGs because you paid for them, right? Exactly. You, you either keep the SMGs or you drop them for guns and then drop your econ as well. Spring Hill opting to go. Cody did grab the Vandal. So feeling confident. Smoke's coming down from Brimstone. Spring Hill opting to not rush a site this time. So I think they uh, really used their advantage those last two rounds, getting the, the early plant in the first round of this half, and then knowing that they had the SMG advantage rushing the site again. But now knowing that IU likely has bought, they're playing this one a little bit more slowly, playing for picks. This does leave them with only about a minute to get onto the site. And they have to commit to A at this point almost because they do not have enough time to full rotate all the way around to another site. A lot of Uto coming down on both oh, sides. Snuxy, we didn't see where Snuxy, Snuxy was sitting right outside of Sewer. Cody able to grab one. Cody drops in the middle of the heel and that's going to be IU taking round 15 increasing their lead back up to 5. Ben Kimchi uh, grabbing some much needed headshots that round. Yeah, it seems Spring Hill wanted to play the beginning slow, and then the time started to catch up, and they was picked up the pace very quickly. But IU was ready for it and dropped Util immediately, cutting off a lot of vision as Spring Hill was pushing, uh, not allowing them to take the site. 
So now Spring Hill splitting up. Again, looks like some uh, smokes going down C. We had the recon dart A from Sova. This guy's going to sit there and watch the flank. Omen pushing up aggressively on C site. Sees the Cypher trap, but now they know that at least one player from Spring Hill is here at C. Omen ult is ready, so he could cause a distraction over here, then ult over to join the rest of the team. Uh, ben Kimchi gets the first shot off onto Cody with the headshot on that Vandal, picking up where he left off last round. And they are no in Badgers are in a position to really answer that. And it seems they are in a similar position as today were last game. Omen looking like he may ult across. Uses the teleport to get out. Feeling confident enough to not have to use the ultimate to get completely out of the situation that he was in. Yeah, in the meantime, Oninobu able to grab a kill. Brimstone ult going down a little bit early. Spring Hill's going to be able to get out of the way of that. But the spike is not going out. So they're just delaying that plant. Omen on the flank, lurking. It seems they broke through the Sage Wall, and Spring Hill were not prepared. The, a good rain of Flash uh, catching men's to random X picking up a kill. Oh. So off getting a return kill on random X, uh, it further extending the lead for IU. Um. So right now we are sitting on two ults apiece for either team, and Spring Hill's economy is severely lacking at the moment. This is gonna this is a this is gonna be a miracle round for them here because IU is gonna be able to full buy everything. Um, you know, for any members that did drop, they can buy heavy armor, they can buy their rifles. This is gonna be a tough task for them uh, to bring this round back, uh, especially with three sheriffs, three sheriffs and an SMG. We do have the Reina ult available. And using using this omen ult effectively is such a difficult task, but it is going to be crucial here. Oh, and he drops before he can use it. Caster curse. That's right. Uh, Cody ends up grabbing uh, Ben Kimchi with the headshot from the Sheriff, but unfortunately he's picked up by Snuzzy. Looks like uh, possibly on the reload. And all coming oh, out. the blind not grabbing Snuxy. It actually went uh, a little too far, and so the wall obscured the blind. They do have enough econ to full buy this round, however. Hoping to stop the snowball and bring back some rounds with uh, now that they finally have good enough economy to full buy all what is that two two vandals two phantoms and sticking with the LMG. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that'll be a topic of conversation after the match. Spring Hill full committing to A, going back to what worked earlier, but we have the Sova ult in a great position to be able to grab a couple of them. Looks like it does grab Music Ace. Omen did ult onto site. S sees Jet in the corner, but now he's going to be collapsed on. You can hear the footsteps coming from the right. He is flanked. And just Spring Hill not able to get there to support Omen in time. So that's going to be IU taking Haven 13-5 to as now we get prepared for... Icebox. Yep. I believe IU is starting attacking this time. Yes. Wait. So wait. Spring Hill. I'm sorry. Spring Hill uh, is going to attack first on Icebox. Okay. It will be interesting to see how Spring Hill handles not playing a. Uh, competitive match on Icebox before, and it not being their choice either, it being IU's choice. Yeah, and taking a look back at the scoreboard from that last map, uh, we do have uh, the IU's uh, Reyna, Jet, and Sova topping the the scoreboard there with 18-9, 2011, and 18-9, uh, respectively. Random X and Cody uh, being the top performers for uh, the Badgers. 15-14 and 16-15. So with the positive KDAs, 
you, you like to see it, but everybody on IU, with the exception of Ben Kimchi, had a positive KDA as well. So that um, definitely uh, IU performed extremely well. Um, all the members did really well, and Ben Kim Ben Kimchi, uh, even though kind of the negative KD had some really clutch moments that last round or that that last map to really pull a couple of rounds in favor uh, i think he had a, a 3k in one map and then um really starting off the subsequent round really strong after that and not even picking up kills but the uh brimstone ult coming down for one round and completely negating the diffuse was m massive um and then them picking subsequently picking up two kills after the round had ended yeah, and, and I was really critical of the early Brimstone ult, too, when they dropped. Um, but it was, you know, really stalling that plant, um, preventing the plant from going down, and it gave enough time for the rest of IU to complete their rotations over. Um, but now moving into Icebox, uh, Spring Hill on attack first. We are going to see some different agent picks come through. Uh, looks like Random going with the Jet this time, and as opposed to the Smoke's Music Ace, bringing out uh, Viper. There are some really good... Um, walls to throw up in an ice box to really kind of cut off an entire site you, know, you can uh, throw the viper wall up and really gives your team that full control of one side of the side and it cuts off any sort of rotations or, or pushes that the enemy could make so be interested to see how those are used um, how they're used to maybe even an aggressive push or even as a kind of a bait into making the opponent think that you're going to one side when you can really go to the other and and, and really ice box too with just the A and B site, you could argue that it's easier to defend because you don't have to worry about three different sites. That is true, and it does seem like IU is also changing up some of their agents, opting for a healer this time, and also agreeing with you on the Viper pick on this map. Yeah. Uh, Viper, Viper is crucial on Icebox because you can completely cut off A from B, as well as cut off uh, pushes onto A or onto B. With some of the angles that are available in Icebox, it is really, really useful to be able to cut those off. So Mint's going back to... so All right, so here we have the A wall that's going to go uh, right up to that that upper door uh, on A, the kind of rafter door there. Um, and that's going to completely cut off anybody pushing from the, those rafter, that rafter door. Jet is spotted on site. They can see her up uh, on top of the box. The heal coming through early from Oninobu. Uh, random picked up by Newt. Losing out on that, that gunfight. But the uh, IU Viper Wall coming out as well. So Spring Hill now just changing. Going to the other side. Cody grabbing a kill. Not able to pick up. Jet does get dropped. Now Spring Hill just getting overwhelmed. It's uh, Viper. The only one left. Able to grab one. Not quite able to grab the other Viper. So some Viper on Viper action brings uh, IU out ahead. As you can see, those Viper walls, when you get into the close quarter sites, really turn them to chaos, not being able to see through two separate angles, completely cutting it, pie slicing it from two angles, is a real challenge to push through, especially when you your Viper wall cuts off theirs and you're not, you're not aware that their Viper, Viper wall is there. Uh, it becomes a challenge to really gain intel. Spring Hill opting to go B side this time. Uh, they do spot Viper there, so a really quick peek. Uh, they did not take any damage, so that's fortunate. Random's Jet sitting over as we have uh, Music Ace does drop with a pick from mid with a Guardian. There's that Guardian coming out from IU. Uh, we saw that similar to last map where they grabbed that second round. Random trying to catch anybody flanking from A, trying to go around Badgers as they push B. Viper likely still over here. We do see the IU Viper wall down there on the ground. Not activated yet. First shot's pulled off now, and that's going to be Cody taking out Kim Chi. He did end up taking out Minst before he dropped. So Spring Hill now in a 3v4. So we check a random making his way over. So we'll see Spring Hill if they can play this slowly enough, not get picked off uh, before random can get in position. Uh, to offer some support. A couple of shots random. Ended up grabbing the Reyna with a hedge, long range headshot with the classic Cody grabbing Newt. And that's going to be a 2v2. Cody he with the 3k. He does grab the heal. The wall goes down and the spike's going to go down. They do know where Jet is. Jet does grab 
Cody with the Marshal, so it's going to be now left to Oninobu by himself. He doesn't have to peek this. Pressure is going to be on Jet to get to the spike to defuse. So if Cody can, or I'm sorry, Oninobu can stall enough. Oh. And then it uh, looks like uh, Snuxy did swap over to the Guardian. So really a great play there. Not able, not approaching closely with that Marshal, swapping over to the Guardian, and then grabbing the kill on Oninobu. We really could have played. Really could have played more off-site there. Um, that pick onto Cody was essential there with the Marshall. Had that not had that kill not going down, it it would have been much harder for the push onto site. Cody was holding a crucial angle there, but did not have the same range and was not aware of the uh, location originally. So now we take a look at. Spring Hills Viper going back, throwing this wall at A, but uh, yeah, they may not even use it as we have IU's wall is cutting off any push from B. So both Viper walls going different sides of the map. Random able to grab a quick kill onto the enemy ram from underneath the tube. So now Spring Hill with the numbers advantage. Can they push this and at least trade one for one going forward? Peak angles together, uh, not giving up any free picks to IU. They are sitting on a lot of utility and do have a lot of time to use it. Uh, they are sitting on full guns, nearly full utility. Slow walking, so as to not go yep. intel. Now's the rush. The Viper wall does go up. Wall does go up onto uh, the Raptor. I'm oh, sorry, the Raptor door. And now just an all out gunfight breaking up, shooting through these walls. Very limited vision. Cody taking a shot from the Electric Dart. He's case grabbing one. It's random left in a 1v3. Able to grab the Sage, dashing over. Able to grab the Viper. Left in a 1v1 versus the Sova. Not sure the health on the Sova. Not sure really where he's at. He's now looking to use these smokes to his advantage. Call some disruption. 24 seconds left on the clock. Oh, and unfortunately did not have his crosshairs ready on the outside of that corner. Nude able to swing it first and grab the headshot. We are seeing a lot of Guardian gameplay coming out here. A lot more than originally expected, that's for sure. It seems to be a favored gun by IU on save rounds opposed to buying SMGs. And it does seem to be working out for them fairly well. The uh, headshot damage being very nice if you can hit them. How's the, do you know the Guardian headshot damage compared to a van? I mean, is it, is it a one tap? Uh, I believe so. I believe it has the same headshot damage as a Vandal. You just um, don't have the rate of fire, right? Yeah, it, exactly. The, the Guardian's one of those guns where in an ideal situation, I believe it does just as much damage as like the Vandal would because it's a one-shot headshot. But because there is no rate of fire and it's semi-automatic, it's not valued as highly. It's similar to the Marshall, where if everyone was perfect, it would be... Oh, Cody with a Good great headshot. headshot onto the Reyna, who was in the middle of healing. Uh, Spring Hill Viper does have ult ready. IU Viper did drop theirs as well. But looks like a flank from IU, uh, catching the Badgers off guard. Does seem that Spring Hill starting to pick up the guns that they've taken off of the enemies, though. Starting to put themselves in a better position. Oh, great recon dart and the judge gameplay coming through from Ben Kimchi. Let's see if they can read the tracers on those bullets. Ah, the judge still coming through. Music Ace able to take out the enemy Viper, but that's still going to be IU taking the round. Just the numbers advantage is too difficult to deal with. That's going to be IU going up 4 0 on the map. We are looking at Spring Hill being ahead with three on ultimates, however. Uh, using those will be crucial in the next few upcoming rounds. Yeah, uh, with this Vi with the Viper ult for sure, it pretty much is very similar to the Killjoy ult where it's not it's not a guaranteed round win, but it, it definitely swings things uh, very highly in your favor, being able to drop that down onto a, a plant site. Exactly, and I'm assuming that Random X is looking for one of those moments in a save round where he can 
choose not to buy and just go for the all kills. Looking at a 3v4 here, they do have intel, however. Using the Sova drone to get a dart onto the, I believe it was the Reyna? So, unfortunately, Sky not able to heal herself. Picked off uh, one shot there from uh, the Reyna with the Phantom. Already uh, really low health. So, uh, a slow repel over here. The spike in hand it is being dropped in the tube. So, Cody uh, waiting in the wings, trying to cover Music Ace with the plant. Looks like the, the Viper ult is dropped, but it's a 1v4. So, a really tough ask here. Even though that Viper ult is potent and powerful, very difficult to make something happen here. She does grab one, but she's going to be quickly surrounded there. And that's going to be IU taking round five. It does look like they're giving those ultimate charge points from the bomb to Sage as well, which is very smart. But it does give her her ultimate, so that will be another challenge to overcome. Um, those picks maybe not sticking as much as they would want. Both duelists on the Spring Hill side do have their ultimates, which will be interesting to see how they use them. Uh, this Reyna has been sitting on her ultimate for a long time. I'd be very interested to see that get popped and at least try to play for a few picks off of that. Yeah, looking across, um, IU does still have a, a healthy economy. Spring Hill's got to win at least uh, two rounds here in a row to really swing things back in their favor. And it could potentially... Wait, potentially happen this round even though you're working with three sheriffs and a vandal so it's going to rely on uh these duelists getting some early picks we need the duelists to win the gunfights and, and as i called out before it seems that reyna or jet however is going for that strategy where i was talking about where they all in save round and then use their ult to get the first pick pick up the gun off of the body and play it that way is a very smart play and does not use up as much econ as would normally be needed and it looks like the spike goes down inside the tube so it's left to cody by himself in a 1v2 does still have the ult ready it's gonna be interesting to see if he decides to pop that uh the resurrect comes through from IU, so I'm not really sure if it's going to be worth using it here. He's tried to limit some of the vision, took a pick off uh, one member of IU, but this is uh, definitely want to hold on to that ult now. It's a really difficult situation sitting against three people is one, especially when the bomb's in a spot that isn't the easiest to get to. He is getting some healing back off of that kill, though. Okay. He gets two. But he's down to four health. Really needs the element of surprise in his favor. Unfortunately, it's he's against the other Reyna. Uh, he's not going to have enough time to get the plant down, I don't believe. Oh, and he does get the clutch Ooh. win right there with the four-piece. Grabbing the enemy Reyna at the end. Dropping the spike there for some swag. And that's going to be Spring Hill taking that round back. So I did say don't ult. Um, and I was just thinking just save it for a future round. But uh, what do I know? <laughs> he, he, he didn't ult because he knew he didn't need it. Apparently so. Able to pull out three kills on, what was that, a total of 30 health the entire round? Yeah, and that 1v3 able to swing it all uh, in Spring Hill's favor. So that's going to give them rifles and heavy armor across the board. Spring Hill definitely can make a move to try to swing the momentum of this map back in their favor. Again, a lot of pressure on the duelist. Uh, to not go down early, which we have seen that a couple times. We've seen random drop early uh, on the jet, you know, going for those aggressive picks and uh, unfortunately losing out on them. But now random sitting uh, with that guardian. I'm sorry, with the vandal. Tapping it like a guardian. Yeah, however. that's right. Yeah. It is a smart move, however, if you're really looking for those headshots, especially at that range, the spray would not be effect as effective. So both Viper walls over here on B side. So interesting to see how Spring Hill plays this. They did see the enemy Viper here. Uh, Cody grabbing one. Random does drop to Sage. So a 4v4. 
Three ults available. Sky ult does go down. They do spot the rain and mist, able to wall bang through through yellow. The wall goes up from Sage. Wall is immediately broken, however. Great pickup there for Oninobu. Looks like it caught uh, Viper out with some utility. Zoloft picks up Cody. Heal's coming through. There's the Sova ult. Able to grab one, but not before the spike goes down. So a 2v2. The Sage can get her heal off onto Sky. 30 seconds left. We do have the ult ready, though, for Sage. I believe at this point it would only be... Oh, and a oh. quick two kills picked up from Oni Nobu. And that's going to be Spring Hill taking round seven. Yet again, not using the ult because he doesn't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Signs of life from Spring Hill after going down 0-5 on the map. Now full buys uh, across the board. I, I did say they needed to at least two rounds. So now looking at IU's economy, it uh, looks like they're going to be... They're not going to be able to go rifles and go armor. So IU has a decision now. Do they go SMGs? Uh, do they go light? Do they just go full econ here? Spring Hill going to push that advantage though because they know. They know IU's on a weak buy. They can hard rush the site to continue to kick out. IU when they're down. Dude, able to grab the pickup through the Viper wall. But a lot of uh, utility coming from IU, the jet ult used to, uh, as mentioned, a great use uh, during an econ round. And IU swinging this back in their favor. Mint's in a tough spot, needing to throw his blind out, but he hears jet chasing. Spots jet first, grabs the headshot, swings onto two, unfortunately, and he's dropped. So now Viper for Spring Hill, three of seven on ult, so not able to drop that for this round, but it's going to be up to Random and Music Ace. Random in a really good spot here to be able to hear IU on the rotation. That's Spots just one. Viper there. Now Music Ace, can she does have uh, her Viper's Bite. I believe that's the C ability. Uh, that is available to be able to stall the defuse. I think that's really what Random is playing for here, is to try to stall as long as he possibly can. And there's the Viper's Bite going down, so that's going to stop the Sova from defusing. And it's still <laughs> a round win for Spring Hill. Yes. Really using that time advantage and the utility to stall out that round as long as they possibly could. And the bomb took out the rest of the IU members. So any anything that they had picked up or potentially had bought that round, they ended up losing. So Spring Hill bringing this back within two and still having a healthy enough economy to go and buy rifles across the board. Uh, we do have Music Ace with the Phantom. Say it isn't so. <laughs> as well as Heavy Armor. But it's but IU did but IU saved. You look at their gold. They had they had over five thousand credits each, just about. It should be guns versus guns this round, I believe, unless IU are really looking to get as milk as much out of these econ rounds as they possibly can. Spring Hill sitting they, on the sage ult too. They do have the ability to do that with the round lead if they really choose to. And random picked off by Snuxy. And you can see in there he, he had his cross here. Uh, over here on this side, Spike Carrier is dropped by the IU Reyna. Immense able to grab two in the middle of the Reyna blind as well, but they're getting flanked. So Cody by himself in a 1v3. He knows there's an op over here on A. So definitely a difficult uh, position because he's... If he tries to move out here, surely he's going to be picked off. He's going to hope that the, the jet moved off site. He does not have bomb, however. He is going to have to fight for bomb and then fight for site with not much time left. Oh, the first op shot missed. That's what you want. 
But now his location is given away, so a difficult... Oh, he knows where Viper is. And that's going to be Snuxy behind him with the Classic. So definitely a tough spot for, for Koji to be in there. Not a whole lot he could do. Yeah, he was playing into a Viper who had uh, knowledge of where he was, as well as an op who had a good angle on him as well. I do believe that he got wall banged through tunnel, so it took a part chunk of his health from that op shot. Um, but we are sitting on three ultimates for Spring Hill now and two for IU. Both of teams have their Sage ultimate, which will be interesting to see how effectively they can use that. Spring Hill now is back to saving, it seems. Looks like Random did pop his ult. So let's see if Spring Hill can swing this in their favor. Music Ace drops under tube that I believe she had spike as well. It's not the position that you want your spike to drop in. Is... Oh, Dagger's picking up one. We do have Sage ult ready and available. Minst pushing around the backside here, trying to catch IU, uh, maybe exiting Kitchen out of the back. Blind coming out from Cody so he can rotate over. Uh, but yeah, just a tough spot. So Spring Hill buying time for Mitz to get in position. Does spot the jet and misses nearly every shot on her. <laughs> then Random comes through with the knife to be able to pick him up. But the rest of IU uh, doing a great job in picking up those kills. Unfortunately for Mitz, he had the shot on jet, just not able to get those lined up. I really blundering the shot on jet. The biggest thing here now is trying to fight back the econ um iu is going to be able to pick that op back up and have full guns it does seem like spring hill is going to full buy out of this round however i do want to see them use the sage old want them to you know aggressively swing uh as to onto maybe somebody here on B site, uh, knowing that the Sage can bring you back. So if you trade one for one, then you Sage ult, and then you know now it's a you know, one for zero. And then to use that numbers advantage. But Sage ult, oh, I'm sorry, Sage wall going down. So Spring Hill gonna eat some decay damage. Coming through here, really quick peek from Oninobu. We'll see what he sees nobody. So Spring Hill full committing to B. And there's the Viper pit going down from IU. So I, I Interesting that Spring Hill commits to this. Mitz does grab one. Uh, you would think they would rotate off to another site, but wall goes up. Instantly going to be broken from IU. So IU committing a lot here, but it looks like Spring Hill is going to back off. So the Viper wall, or the Viper pit does, does go down. Spring Hill ends up taking Viper out. The res comes through. Uh, that's going to be Music Ace being revived. Cody takes out Newt. Reyna takes out Mitz. So Spring Hill 4v3. Uh, random with the spike. Looks like he's heading over towards A side. And Sage and Viper hanging back to try to catch anybody uh, rotating back through T spawn. Crucially, that first pick was on the Viper to immediately shut down her ultimate. I think that if that first pick had not been on the Viper, it would have been a much harder time picking up the rest of those kills. It does seem that Cody has been picked off rotating back around to B from A. And Spring Hill dropping their own Viper's Pit as the spike goes down. Random going to play off-site. Music Ace going to stay alive as long as she can so that she can drop those Viper Bite onto the plant site. This is a hard position to be in, though, because the numbers advantage as well as Random X being... Random on a flank does spot Reyna. Random able to grab Reyna through the... I believe he had vision. Viper Pit going down. Does end up grab, grabbing Sage. Now it's a 1v2. Random trying to buy as much time as he can. Uh, but the defuse that whole time was happening. He Random does, however, knock the guns off. That's true. So a five-round disadvantage for Spring Hill. But uh, a couple of... Maybe a little moral victory there at the end. They are in an interest, interesting position. It is the last round of the half. So we'll see both teams buying as much as they possibly can. Uh, it, there are no ults for either team. So this will be 
essentially a straight slugfest, especially on this map. Be interesting if Snuxy uh, gets a kill, it will give the IU jet the ult. So we could possibly see uh, a quick pick. Uh, he had enough to buy the op. There's the op shot. So Spring Hill opting into the op, actually. While well, Random watches the flank. And there's Snuxy grabbing the uh, grabbing the kill onto Sage, so that's going to give him his ult. Like to see this Reyna blonde go down before people turn this corner. A lot of Sova arrows coming through. Oh, Cody picking up on the, getting the overheal. Not able to get the kill onto Newt. Random grabbing a kill. 2v3. Spring Hill in a very, very tough position. I do believe the Reyna heal trail blocked his vision of the second person who swung on him. Very unfortunate angle there. They do have knowledge of where Spring Hill is planting at. Ah, uh, random. Oh. Had a great flank. Saw two, not able to get to them in time. And the okay, plant shot. is not in a really good position either for him to be able to to pick the shots off. It was behind the box, so even uh, from that angle there, uh, random would not be able to get the shots off on whoever is defusing. Just a really unfortunate rota really unfortunate rotations for Spring Hill and really good rotations on IU. Uh, the timing on them just working out really well, which was unfortunate for Spring Hill. Um, random playing the lurking, uh, but not able to get uh, cut off the rotation in time around the backside of uh, B site was really unfortunate. Yeah, it had the right idea, and I think it um, was was definitely what needed to be done. I, I'm looking to see if, uh, yeah, it's just, oh, Viper going to drop uh, the Viper's Bite there into that corner to stall any fast push from IU. Recon Dart still flying. <laughs> a couple, a couple wow. of bounces there. I've never seen that one. I've never, that's, a, that's a new one for me. I've seen a lot of Sova arrows and practiced a lot of Sova arrows. That is not one of them. That's one I'll have to <laughs> hop on and try out for myself. <laughs> so it's from mid, and it was bouncing into the back of a site. A -side. Yeah. So off radio tower. Slow, slow push here from IU Spring Hill. Able to get a lot of information uh, with how many were at A, but looks like the rotations come back. That the wall is up from Sage. Spring Hill knows the plant is now going down at B. Still, nobody dropped. Music Ace does pick up Newt, so Spring Hill 5v4. Can they coordinate their pushes on the retake to get back onto the side? A great uh, Sage wall. Music IU Ace. playing off site here. Music Ace going to tap the bomb here, trying to draw out IU, and they're behind Yellow. Snuxy swings and picks up two with Ghost Headshots. Cody not able to get one. Does grab the Reyna. Has the heal. It's up to the two duelists. Jet dashes out. She gets picked up, and that's going to be IU taking the round. Right, pushing them to 10-3 on the map. Cody picked up a few very good headshots uh, there, flicking onto the jet after the dash, as well as picking up the uh, Reyna, I believe, earlier in the round. Um, but just not able to capitalize off of those. Uh, it was a very good setup on that site by you, the Viper wall, the Sage wall, and then having the Duelist hold yellow while the rest of them held off site was very well played. Yeah, and it, it allows IU to to double swing when they see the aggression coming from Spring Hill. So Spring Hill's never in a never truly in a one v one gunfight. Exactly, holding multiple angles that watch the same corner is never bad. Random quickly pushing through the spawn, dashing away, able to pick up one kill, uh, and then is caught in the reload from Zoloft. Uh, had no teammates there able to assist him with that. Now Spring Hill. Or Guardian gameplay. Yeah, absolutely. 
more Guardian gameplay coming out. Does pick up two with it, though. So, does seem IU are very confident with this gun. Yeah, you can hear them all on B now. Viper wall goes down. Sage wall, same setup as last time. Oh, you can expect one to be holding yellow and then the rest to be playing off site. It's just so tough to deal with. We do have uh, minced with the flash. Good Vipers by by Music AS was not able to pick up the kill, however, against the Guardian. Sounded like he was too. Yeah, the there was a Guardian to the right of Minst. Unfortunately, like when he like he over rotated his uh, his crosshair and wasn't able to see him hiding in the corner. Yeah, close right there really got him. But I do believe close right was who he flashed. So I, I don't think close right was the threat. I might be incorrect there, and it might be far side that just rotated back and they traded off. Either way, it was a very good hold by IU, holding both of those angles. It does seem that they are favoring B very heavily now, placing both the Viper and the Sage Walls there, and holding it the same way. Is Spring Hill slow on the Viper setup to be the Shroud? So that fortunately did not come uh, back to bite them. Uh, last round we saw Random really aggressively push into T-Spawn. Uh, for the blank, doesn't look like he's doing it this time. Cody able to win out on the Reina 1v1. That is a crucial pickup. However, they are trying to gain intel with the Sova. Bomb going down on B. Again, same setup. Viper wall, Sage wall. Minced on top of the box, able to grab the kill. It's a 5v3. Much better situation to retake B than it was previously. Spring Hill just not taking these fights where they can utilize their numbers advantage. Viper caught with utility out, but Spring Hill not able to get the kill, so it's going to be leave random in a 1v2. Does grab the enemy jet through the smoke. Gets it to halfway. It does end up grabbing the enemy Viper. Does he have enough time? And he does. That's going to be Spring Hill clutching the round. Very good, well played by Random with that Vandal. Uh, the crucial shot through the smoke on the person up top, uh, following the tracers as well as having enough cognizance to be able to see, know that the, uh, this last person was to the left. So Spring Hill showing, again, signs of life, but it's tough. It's, it's still four versus 11. Uh, you have a, a very healthy economy on the side of IU. They're going to be able to full buy again. Spring Hill, um, kind of weak full buys. We have a Bulldog with Light coming through and a Judge with Light. We do hear the Jet dash up and a really quick pick. Cody grabbing Snuxy. That's, that's huge for Spring Hill. It does seem like they're changing it up and trying to slow push A this time. And it does not seem to be working out for them as well as the B pushes were. Minst hoping IU can rush, <laughs> will rush A site here so we can grab a couple of, uh, possibly a triple with the judge, but they're not going there. Oninobu picked up in rotation mid with the Reina. The Reina ult is able to uh, dismiss and spot Cody peeking around and loses the peek. That's going to be a wall bang. Grabbing that new grabbing Minst. Sage pausing right on the middle of the rope, getting picked up by random, but uh, then quickly surrounded and dropped himself. Yeah, they did get pincered there at A. That rotation by the enemy Reyna was very well played. The dis the uh, dismiss, I believe is what that ability is called. Uh, very well, used very well to get intel um, and good gunfights on both members. The Wall bang headshot, <laughs> very, very nice there. On to Cody S, I believe. It's match point now for IU. Spring Hill in a tough spot. We've got Oninobu sitting with the slow orb, trying to put slow any sort of push uh, that could possibly go in towards A. Uh, does look like another B. That's going to be Cody dropping to the IU Reyna. Again, so uh, again, the IU duelist coming out on top in these early picks, putting Spring Hill at a deficit as they try to ba battle back here. The spike is going down on B. 
random pops the ult as well. But there's so much to try to work through as well as the Viper's Den. Random able to grab a shot through uh, <laughs> the Viper's Den smoke wall there. That was impressive. Very, random, grabbing a kill very, on Snuxy as well. Very well played and knowing where the Viper ult origin is and shooting directly at it. Um, Music is gonna... getting a kill as well. So Spring Hill could potentially bring this back. 2v2. Minst has the entry flash, able to grab the Reyna. Now a 2v1 does spot the Sova, and Random does drop him, but do they have enough time for the defuse? That is the question. It is a nail biter. Oh, and they do. <laughs> Less than a second on the clock. I feel like I was holding my breath for the end of that one. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't unclench. Don't unclench. <laughs> yeah. That was. Very well played by Random Axe getting treated with the Sky Flash. Crucial against the Reyna who is in ult. Yeah, well played from Spring Hill. 12 to 5. Still a lead for IU. Uh, look at Random X really popping off this map. 24 14. Viper Pit from Music Ace already going down on B. Hopefully to stifle any sort of push or any rush push as we have a little pixel error there. But it looks like IU's going to commit to A-side. We do have the Sova ult come through, catching out Oninobu. Uh, unfortunately, okay, Oninobu did not have ult ready. Viper picked off. Oh, and the spray transfer was not there for Cody. This plant is going down. Able to pick up the Reyna. And now it's Music Ace in a 1v4. Unfortunately, the Viper's Pit was used over on B-side. Let's pick With up the one trail. health. <laughs> one health and a dream. Full util and now aside from the wall. Unfortunate. Newt calling GG before the, the map was actually over. A little bit of banter going on. A little bit, See. you know part of it but uh take a look at the scoreboard definitely uh better performances here from spring hill and map two uh kda wise random topping the charts 24 and 15 whereas uh last map we had two iu players uh at the very top but random and cody both sitting in the top three uh but the rest of spring hill kind of lagging behind down there at the bottom with oninobu minced to music ace um really struggling to win those gunfights so, and we saw some of that um you know when we're even on their perspective. So that's something that they could work on and practice and try to clean up. But um, definitely Spring Hill had the opportunity. I think we had some some really tough like retakes. Like we, we had the utility, but we weren't actually retaking together and creating opportunities where it could do 2v1s. It was kind of filtering in one at a time, and that really came back to, to bite them. Yeah, either committing to the retake or committing to the hold is crucial. You can't have half the team wanting to hold and then half the team wanting to retake or just not being coordinated on the retake. It will definitely be the downfall. Picking Killjoy on the first map was very nice to get the intel of when they are pushing, but then transferring that information into what to do is the next step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely it's... Spring Hill, even though they got, you know, last week was a was a really tough um, was a tough matchup for them. Uh, this week we saw really a lot of the same. We have those really, you know, a few rounds that they take, and we get on a streak, and then it's like when they're ahead, and then the the, the when the econ is even, and the buys come through even, and it's straight gunfight v gunfight, um, you know, even even equipment. That's where things get a little hairy. Uh, and Spring Hill not kind of playing, sometimes not playing around some of their ults, you know, having the Sage ult and then uh, not adjusting their play style. Whereas, you know, those early rounds when they do have the econ advantage, if they pick up a round or two, they have the SMGs, they execute those really well. Rushing on the site, knowing they have the advantage, it's figuring out what do we do when everything is even, right? Yeah, effectively using utility as well, just knowing hey we're gonna push the site and then pushing a lot of utility onto that site as you're going is is crucial especially in retake scenarios when they have already 
set up their utility to defend it. Because they, at that point, they only have one course of action, is to defend. Right. So, flashing for your teammates to peek instead of flashing for yourself to peek, things like that. I did see a couple, a uh, couple instances in there where it was played really well. Uh, some players, uh, specifically the one, the one that comes to mind is, um, I believe it was minced was in a gunfight with Reyna. And did not even swap to shoot the Reina blonde because he knew that Cody would shoot it for him. Uh, those kind of just those kind of things are very very crucial to have team cohesion and being able to use utility and combat utility wisely and uh, effectively. Yeah, so a lot of potential. Um, obviously, this is this is only their second competitive match played as as a team and even tonight we had a couple of we had a member swap out we had music ace come in uh whereas we had ninja play uh last week and ninja typically plays uh sage for spring hill um this week we had uh ninja was out uh, so oninobu swapped over to sage and then we had music ace step in because ninja couldn't make it so it just had some interesting elements there but spring hill still able to produce uh, some winning rounds and be able to do really well. So um, I'm going to hop in Discord with them and, and you know, we'll kind of talk about it and see what we think and just get prepared for next week because we'll be back. Are you going to be back to cast cast with me? I definitely should. <laughs> I believe I will be. It's an open invitation. Uh, yeah, I'll come as often as I'm a, as long as I'm able. Oh, awesome. All right. Well, that is going to do it uh, here. So a uh, good game to Indiana. Uh, they definitely uh, came to play and shut up, and they're going to extend their winning streak. Now they're 2-0 in the league. Spring Hill's going to drop to 0-2. Still three more matches left uh, in our round robin, so Spring Hill could go, could finish the season 3-2. and two. So uh, next week we're going to be probably playing a team that has also uh, struggled a little bit and lost. But unfortunately, we, we were bested. Uh, Indiana was the better team tonight. Uh, but we'll look to see you all next week. Thank you so much for tuning in.